How do you build a gaming slash streaming setup for a streamer that is incredibly successful, has been in the game for over eight years, and already has everything when it comes to gear? Well, today we're going to find out because two years ago, Fuzli asked me to help me do my setup. <laughs> well, she just moved into a new house, and that is the perfect time to build a new setup. And let's see if we can build Fuzli her dream gaming setup. Enjoy. When I first saw this room, it was the jankiest thing, like the way the bed in here um, and the drawers and everything. And I was like, uh-oh, um, I, I really like want to do something good with this space. I'm going to have it for a while. I'm going to hit up low. This video actually starts days before building the setup. Our first stop was Aperture HQ. When I told them about this video, they said, whatever you need, let us know and we'll get it for you. So they gave us a ton of stuff. That same day, I went to Ikea. The main goal for the setup is to make something that, of course, looked really cool, but also wasn't too permanent and easy to take down once it's time for that. With preparations made, the real video begins now. I'm sure most of, if not all of you guys, know Foosley. But in the off chance that you don't, here's a very short introduction. Hi, my name is Leslie, and I'm a streamer on YouTube. Do variety content, have two cats, live in a streamer house, been streaming for eight years. I do a bunch of things. I play anything and everything, single player, variety, games, role play, GTA, Valorant, CSGO, H1Z1, Pokemon, all of the above. So, first day of building the setup. After we got everything unloaded, it was my first time really seeing the room. We decided to move the desk against the wall with the windows because for Leslie, the most important thing was uh, the background for me because that's what the viewer sees. And putting the setup here gives us the most wall real estate later when we're decorating her stream background. If anyone is curious on what her desk is, it's a 98 inch Carl B countertop paired with two Alex drawers. Now that the desk is situated, it was time to get rid of this. Triple monitor mounts suck. In theory, they're great. In practice, they're heavy and don't allow for much adjustability. I went with single monitor mounts, distributing the weight on the desk more evenly. So our desk doesn't look like this later. And basically it just fixes everything wrong with a triple monitor mount. All right, I'm not gonna lie, these monitors were way too high. But after losing it a few times, I finally figured it out. So yeah, we good. But just know that it was a struggle. When it comes to things that actually make the setup functional, it usually has everything already. My thought process was I didn't want to do too much and make her setup not practical for her. So everything we'll be doing today is optimizing, cleaning up, and decorating. She already knows what she likes. She's been streaming for eight years. But it is my job to take into account what she likes, try to improve on it, make it better. And adding to that idea, her most important request was pretty simple a storage bump while her current pc is beautiful and a little dusty <sighs> i don't know if you can see it oh my gosh <coughs> Damn. dusted you you dusted it <laughs> years <laughs> i didn't know you had to dust it man <laughs> I, I i would be like wow my pc is growing like a layer like a color it's like a gray color and i was like is that like a thing yeah, it's maturing, it's aging. Um, so before that was probably like two years. It was bad. Um, it only had one terabyte of storage. And when you're streaming on this thing, all the files of all the graphics, all the games you have downloaded, that is not enough. So we added on a two terabyte Samsung 980 Pro. For anyone that's out of storage in their PC, M.2 SSDs are super easy to upgrade. You literally just stick them in, screw them in, and call it a day. And that should be more than enough for any games that she wants to play now or in the future. Earlier I said I wasn't going to do too much. Well, this is a $3,500 camera. When it comes to small video cameras, it doesn't get any better than this. I'm actually filming on the same camera right now. We paired that with a 24 millimeter f1.4 G Master lens. This combo is lethal. And again, I'm using the same lens. And the reason why it was so important for us to put so much money to a good camera, because her old camera was a little bit outdated, is because a streamer's streaming gear isn't only for their streams. That live content from their streams gets pushed on YouTube, gets pushed on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, everywhere. The time that it's used while you're streaming live is only a small percentage of what people actually see. Quick message I wanted to throw in, you don't need all of this insane streaming gear to be a successful streamer. I realize it can seem like that from a service level. Me showing all this insane gear can definitely give off that look. 
Most streamers don't start off at this point. Definitely not Leslie. But also, it's important to remember that spending money on gear is investing into your career. And putting money that you've made from streaming back into your career is definitely something that I think is important. Anyways, to pair with the overkill camera setup, Emiran hooked it up with something that's probably just as important. And it's probably the best small form factor lighting that you can get. Number one for streaming, but also even if you are on the move. This specifically is the Amaran P60X. And what makes it different is that you get another layer of diffusion that most lights don't give you and are usually pretty harsh especially for stream lighting we wanted to get something that didn't get in the way but also does a great job and this is definitely a great option no matter how good your camera is your lighting is arguably just as important now the next step to building the setup is the chair the amazing people over at mavic sent us a white m9 i'm sitting in one at this point i probably built the most mavic chairs out of anyone also let me know if you guys are armrest people or not i prefer the easy access of no armrests i just feel free anyways chair looks great thank you mavix use code low now for what is probably the most fun parts cable management I'm gonna be honest, I was only able to get started this day. But while I did that, Aloe and Foosley worked on some of the frames. And that is a wrap for day two. See you tomorrow or in one second for you guys. I've always had my stream in my bedroom. And this was the first time I didn't have to have a massive bed in my background. I was so happy because it's just like, I don't know. I don't love having my bed in the back of my stream. It just I have to make my bed every morning. So this is the first time I have like an office, like yeah. my setup, my room, I have a bedroom and then I have a room. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have a whole area to play with. Today's the most important part. So no pressure. The background. Word of advice before you put up decorations and lights that you can't move, set up your camera and turn it on so you can place things and know that they're in the right place. The base of the background are these calyx like cube units from Ikea. We got a bunch of different cubes for it, put up some fake plants. Then I set up some Govi RGB lights and ran it along the back of the shelf. I'm not sponsored by Govi, but these are definitely my go-to RGB strips, mainly because they're super easy to pair and use with the app, but also they're pretty cheap as well. After that, we put up the Stendig calendar. This is one of those things that Foosley requested specifically and look who joined us mushroom and sock i decided to stop putting off the cable management and just get to work it's definitely not perfect but it is an improvement over her old setup sorry for exposing leslie follow that up by setting up her desk the elgato low pro boom arm her go xlr mouse pad stream deck keyboard all that fun stuff oh yeah guess the price of this mic over three grand it came in a fancy box so i looked it up and just like that very quickly the room was a mess this is hard working now we hired someone to mount the frames because there was no chance i lined them up all perfectly then we finished the background with what was my favorite part of the setup these govi hexa panels something i don't know the exact name we kept it as simple as we could with the design it's literally just a straight line but we did put them on the ceiling and it looks really cool it completes the area shines on the shelves makes it feel more cozy and complete i forgot to mention this earlier but since they're renting this house we wanted to avoid any major damage or mounting to the walls and this grass wall worked perfectly because it's literally held up by pins one more thing big shout out to say props on this one one of Foosley's favorite games is valorant so i decided to surprise her with her favorite in-game item. Oh! Huh? What is it? It's long. Wait, is it? Oh my god, it's what I think it is! <laughs> the gravitational uranium neural blaster baton! <laughs> yes, I did. It's my favorite Valorant, um, my favorite Valorant knife. <laughs> because of its name, gravitational uranium neural blaster baton. <laughs> this one? Oh, it lights up. This is so sick. This is so sick. <laughs> Gravitational uranium neural blaster baton. I always get kind of nervous when people ask me to build their setup, mainly because I don't know if they're gonna like what I build. I'm very meticulous about my setup and where everything is. So I just wanna make sure I do the same for others. With that being said, I think there's only one more thing left to do. When I sit down, I wanna feel like I'm kind of like in the zone. I have like my screen here, my screen here, my screen here. Um, I'm like at the center of it. My keyboard's feeling, I'm in my world. Like, I, yeah, I lock it, I sit in my chair, and it's kind of like, once I turn it in, it don't bother me. I'm just my screens, and yeah, that's pretty much it, yeah. Thank you, Foosley, for the opportunity. Whose setup should I do next? I'll let you decide. It's interview time! <laughs> ba -da -da -da. <laughs> Hi, my name is Leslie, and I am a streamer, Twitch streamer. <laughs> Cut that, YouTube streamer. <laughs> Cut it! Okay, um, when I first started streaming, okay, I was in a room in Irvine with three three guys. Well, sorry, that sounds wrong. <laughs> Cut that. 
and you guys did like so well. 